I'm not sure the order of these being uploaded, but it's not this cutie patootie on my head. Um, know that this one has already either been uh, uploaded a few videos back or it's coming down the pipeline. Cause I, I like I told you, I never know the order I want to upload. I literally wake up in the morning and say, let's do this one. Okay. So stay tuned for this one if you ain't seen it. That ain't why we here. So what I was on was this kick last week. I went through my comments and I picked 12, I think it's 12, it's 12 or 13 random comments from people on random videos some of them went all the way back um of wigs people wanted me to see and i picked them up okay this is one of them okay now this new one is a wig that one of you commented and told me you wanted me to pick up because you saw elevate styles which y'all know i love elevate styles i ordered this wig from elevate styles you said Elevate Styles, sorry, I did the flip over method on this wig. Elevate Styles uploaded a review on it and you wanted me to get it because you said I would love it. So I said, okay, sis, all right. All right, so the wig that you guys recommended that I get is by Bishi, okay? That's also Motown, Tris, if you didn't know. Bishi, and I have it in the uh, style number LLDP dash dash arch four. And I have it in the color uh, FH1B Blonde. And that's what uh, the wonderful subscriber told me I would like the color the most. Uh, Miss Arch 4 comes with a 6-inch curved part, ear-to-ear -ear lace. She is 26 inches long. Uh, what else am I missing? It says that the 6-inch part is a half-moon deep lace part. And she comes in tons and tons of colors. Okay? Trying to see if there's anything on here that I mixed. No, it's just telling you how to wear the wig, but y'all know folks be lying. We're going to get into it ourselves, okay? Um, so here is the wig. All I've done was cut off lace. If it came with lace, I need to check and make sure. Yes, it did, okay? The only thing I've done is cut off lace. If you knew, you're new here, that's all that I will do before I show it to you. Here's that lace. It is soft and it is brown. Okay, that color is pretty. That one be blonde. Whoever recommended this, thank you, sis. Okay, let's look at the cap construction. Comb in the back and your adjustable straps. And then in the front, there's that six inch moon part and it's really deep. You get a comb here to the right and you get a comb to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. The reason why I'm looking at this wig like this is because the B she and Motown, like those ain't necessarily, like I know the wig gonna hit like Bobby Boss, like I always, I, most of the time, cause I done had a few surfers. I'm a little Bobby Boss. Most of the time I'm a little Zuri. Uh, not an absolute time I'm a little Altre. Motown Tress, I don't know. But look at that color though, y'all. Round, okay. As I run my fingers through it, of course, I'm not getting no shed, no tangling. It's fresh out, fresh out of pack. But I don't think that my tangling will be too bad because check the texture on this, okay? It's not silky. Not too silky, rather. Okay, see that coarseness to it? So, okay. Let me take this off. And I did them baby hairs. That's going to hurt, okay? It didn't. It didn't. It didn't even hurt. That's why I used to tell my mama when she was whooping my butt. Or I tried to say that one time. Ma, that did hurt. I don't know why, she, why I said that she showed me what she could do. <laughs> All right, let's put Art 4 on. Let's see if she's on. She come with baby hairs. Oh, y'all, for my left side part, where is she a left side part? Motown 
adulteress? Hmm. All right, let me give you angles before I put some powder in the part. I done ran my darn fingers through it, sorry. This is her straight on. That's her to the left. This is her to the right. And that's her with everything in the back. Can y'all see that link? Hang up, yeah, okay. All right, where do I start? The luster, I was worried about this luster coming off as Party City, and it's not, I, I cause, Y'all know I'd be ready to just go in, okay? But the luster isn't bad at all. Those baby hairs are really natural. You see, I ain't do nothing to them. And look how they just laid on their own. Let me put a little bit of powder in this part. See what that'll do. It's hard for me to see because of that light. So if y'all ever wonder, why should be putting that powder in looking so silly? That's why. Or why she be getting it on the hair? Girl, shut up! You know why. You know I'm still on my iPhone. I probably never upgrade to a camera, period. And look at them baby hairs. Like I say, a nice little density on them baby hairs. Y'all, this wig ain't bad at all. I was a little nervous. I cannot lie. I don't think that I'm doing this wig no justice with this basic lip on. Y'all mind if I go switch to a red lip real quick just so I can see Cause let me go switch my lipstick. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Shut up. Okay, I'm back. I like it better with the red lip, y'all. I don't know. It's just something about with hair that's colored like this. I personally always like a huge face frame like this. I always think that a colored lip looks so much better. In the comments, let me know what you like better. Do you like the nude or the red lip? Before you ask, this is a uh, Ruby Ruby by Lindsay Cosmetics, I uploaded a review on it and I just took a brown liner, pulled it around my lips and put some in the middle, a brown liner in the middle. Y'all, but I really like this wig. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel better now that we got some color on that lip because I was just feeling a little washed out, I think, okay? But um, I'm not getting any shedding, I'm not getting any tangling. And because of this texture, it'll come eventually, of course, because this is synthetic. But y'all, as because of this texture, I don't think it's coming like, today okay yeah i definitely recommend this one and i'm gonna be honest i normally don't get a whole lot of like bishi or motown tris units because they normally don't do anything for me but i do i will say that i like the color on this one and let me tell y'all what i'm already envisioning if you my ride or die you already know i'm gonna cut this eventually it's about right here. Yep. I know I'm going to cut it. As soon as this wig start to rattle up, it's getting cut, okay? Because, I mean, to me, even when you look at it, it looks like it's supposed to be cut, right? I would do it now, but I, 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 I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, but just know that you're going to see me probably in a clothing haul with this wig cut because I think it would look so cute at that length with this color and job on it. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, so we are gonna cut it later, ladies and gents. But until the meantime, like I would say, maybe you're not even in the uh, wigs. I don't know, maybe it's your Auntie Annabelle. I hope she ain't no demon like that doll. Maybe it's your cousin Archie, he wanna get into wigs. Send in a, unless it's Annabelle, send her, I'm a warrior for Christ, I slay her. Send either one of them my way and we'll get them together. This wig, yeah, this wig is cute, okay? Because at first, I don't know if y'all could tell, I was a little like, mm-mm. But look at that feathering and that bang, them layers. Yeah, this wig is a win. This wig is cute. This is an everyday wig for me. I'm going to be honest. I should have got, if I would have got it in black, it would have definitely been an everyday wig for me. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Until next time, which will be very soon. Bye, y'all. Okay. I feel bad because I lied to y'all and y'all know y'all my people. I'm going to cut this wig now. Okay. First of all, look at it tucked behind the ear. Isn't, isn't that cute? But y'all, it's just something of, it's something about these super long black pieces that's just throwing me off. Know that you can keep yours like this. 
Y'all, I just want to cut. Uh, y'all know if I'm willing to cut my own hair bald, y'all know that I don't care about cutting a wig, huh? Actually, I'm going to keep the black there and I'm going to cut. I'm going to keep the blonde there. Most of it. And y'all, let's just see what happened. Either we like it or we don't, huh? I just twisted the hair. And now I'm cutting. I can already tell I'm gonna like it cut better. Yep. That just looks so much better to me. What y'all think? Of course I'm gonna have to go through and like off camera fix these little straggly pieces. In the comments, tell me what y'all think. I just couldn't lie to my people. I'm gonna cut it later. We gonna cut it later. I knew my brown behind was about to cut that as soon as I hung up with y'all because I wanted to know what it would look like. So here I am. I'm back, everybody. I told y'all a lie. What y'all think? Y'all liked it better longer or short? Tell me in the comments. Yeah, y'all, for me, this definitely looks better cut. Of course, like I said, that's really blunt right now. And I'm going to go through and fix it. And this side is a little bit longer than this side. But I kind of like it like that. I just want y'all to see. Okay, because I had told y'all a lot. Look how much hair I cut off. That is what these synthetic wigs, and that's why I love synthetic better than a lot of human hair. Because synthetic is so much cheaper you can experiment and make these wigs work for you and not feel too bad if you, you know, mess it up. Like I didn't feel, I wouldn't have felt bad if I messed this wig up. Cause I knew that I could eventually get it to how I want. And I'm gonna cut that little piece too and make it work. I just wanted to show y'all cause I had lied to y'all. I love y'all. Don't forget in the comments, tell me, do you like it better shorter like this or did you like it better longer? Bye for real this time. Bye y'all.